Uh, all right, so let's go ahead and jump right in. Welcome to the explosive traffic pattern for trading options. One quick side note too, guys. I apologize, my acoustics are, are not great. I just moved into a new office and I'm gonna, I'm gonna get that fixed. So I apologize for that, um, uh, for this particular webinar. All right, so let's go ahead and dive right in. My background is a senior strategy developer in the hedge fund space for about 20 years. So I focused my entire career on working with charts as a way to find predictive chart patterns and build trading strategies on the charts by themselves. So I've ignored fundamental information. I believe charts are the true vote of the markets and very powerful way to analyze the markets and find opportunities. Uh, let's cover quickly some risk disclaimers. Trading involves a high level of risk and is therefore not suitable for all traders before deciding to trade. You should carefully consider your trading objectives, level of experience and ability to tolerate risk. Hypothetical, also a CFTC rule 4.41, hypothetical or simulated performance results have certain limitations. Unlike an actual performance record, simulated results do not represent actual trading. So uh, stating the obvious, this is really more for new traders. A couple of things you gotta make sure you, you do. You take time to understand the risk of the market. We don't need to downplay risk. We just need to work to manage it. And then understand there's no guarantees for anybody, nobody. Even when we won star search, you know, for annual track record with our hedge funds, uh, there's no guarantee, there's just opportunities. And it's how well we capitalize on the opportunities and how well we manage our risk that speaks to how well we do as traders in the markets. Now, this story started uh, back in 2017. So let me just go back and tell you where it all started for us. But we launched a new options trade alert program back in 2017. The program was designed to beat the markets through probabilities using a number of different strategies. So each week we would broadcast about 50 to, seven option, 50 to 70 option trade picks, which obviously is way too many for most retail traders. But uh, we finished our first 24 months of this uh, program with pretty exciting results. But uh, so this is the background. Let me just quickly cover this and you'll see where we're coming from. So after the first 24 months, we had 1,027 trades that made over 100%. We had 365 trades that made over 200%. And total number of winners was 2,383. And then if you added up all the winners with all the losers, we had we were up 84,994%. Now in calculating these numbers, we had multiple exits. We had two profit targets and one end of trade exit. So in order to be consistent we, uh, on, on tracking our results, we used what's called optimal exit, which means that if like profit target two was up 250% and the end of trade exit was up 200%, we would take profit target two. So there's a little bit of that ideal uh, built into this, these results, but we wanted to be consistent. This is what it looks like on a graph. So fairly consistent. We had down weeks, we had down months, uh, like you would expect in, in most trading strategies, but overall the results are pretty good. Now, uh, this is the backdrop and we were excited about our first 24 months of results, but the real breakthrough came when we noticed the number of similarities amongst some of our big winning trades. And the reason why we did this, we dove into the numbers, dove into it, the, the winning trades in particular, because we had a lot of retail traders saying, look, I can't trade 50 or 70 alerts. I just tell, tell me the best trades. And to some extent, that's kind of a funny question. That's the question in the markets, right? So uh, to some extent, it's, it's a funny question to ask, but to some extent, it's actually a pretty good question to ask. It's, hey, I don't want 50 to 70 alerts. Can you just tell me, you know, give me three to five. So just give me the best ones. And so that challenged us to my team and I to really take a look at our, our biggest winning trades in that program and see if there's a way to, to correlate, you know, find out if, if there was something happening with some of the patterns that, that might have been an attention getter, might have been a reason to really pay attention. And what we found is when three market conditions appeared, the stock would often experience a big price move. So the three conditions, uh, three market conditions were like a, our hidden clues that the stock was about to take off or drop like a rock. Now, I'm gonna tell you exactly what these three conditions are. So you can actually uh, track these yourselves if you want to. So uh, for example, in late 2017, when the Spider DIA ETF experienced the three bullish market conditions, then, <clears throat> excuse me, DIA ended up taking off like a rocket. So in this case, the three green lights here are three distinct individual market conditions. So we put those on a chart so you can visualize when that triggered. And at that time, this is, uh, we don't have the benefit of hindsight. Well, this is a real trade alert that we, we broadcasted. So we told our followers to buy the DIA 235 calls at, uh, and those ended up jumping in value. So this is a alert we actually published 
And uh, to give you perspective, a lot of people would say, what does 338% mean in real dollars and cents? So I'm including two different trade levels. So if you have a smaller account, you risk $200, for example, on these calls, then that would have grown to $876 or $1,000 turns into $4,380. So I'm just including these so you can convert the percentage into two different account sizes for perspective. Now then in March of 2018, and by the way, for those of you who are asking, show, show me some recent ones, I'll do that. So we're gonna look at the, the, the backdrop story of our researching you know, some of the best trades we had, and then I'm gonna show you what's happening right now, show you what's happening lately. So in, in March of 2018, when Wells Fargo experienced the three bearish conditions, WFC ended up dropping like a rock. So each one of these conditions can either be green, bullish, or they can be the opposite is going to be red, and that lights up three red lights. That means they're all triggering, and this creates a bearish forecast. Now, when that happens, we recommended or recommend buying put options because put options allow us to profit from falling prices. So in this case, we broadcasted a buy WFC 56 put, and that's up 550, 15%. So what does that look like in dollars and cents? That's $250 of these put options grows to $1,540, and $1,000 grows to $6,150. So it can be very explosive to the upside, and that's really what caught our attention. So the three market conditions were like three distinct patterns, which we developed into the three light pattern or the traffic pattern. And I'm going to show you exactly what these are. So if you want to use these in your trading, you can. Now, when the three market conditions triggered at the same time, the stock often experienced a big move. Like when JP Morgan experienced a bullish traffic pattern, we had the three green lights here, and this is indicative of the three separate individual conditions all firing off at the same time. So it's almost like the stars aligning on the bullish side. We recommended our, to our traders to buy the JPM 98.5 calls. Those ended up really jumping in value by 568%. So $200 worth of these calls would have grown to 1,336. A thousand dollars of these calls would have grown to 6,680. Or when Citigroup experienced a bearish traffic pattern, and in this case now they're flashing red. So each one of these exact same conditions can be either bullish or bearish. And now they're all flashing at the same time bearish. So we recommended our followers buy the Citigroup uh, 73.5 puts. Those jumped in value by 400%. So $250 grows to $1,250 or $1,000 turns into $5,000. Or when UPS experienced a bearish traffic pattern, in this case, the three red lights, uh, this caused us to recommend buying the UPS 111 puts. Those jumped in value by 413%. So you get the idea, 250 grows to 1282, or $1,000 grows to 5,130. So when the traffic pattern appeared, stocks oftentimes would have these now, it moves in a direction, but not only that, big moves, which is what causes options to really jump in value because options can make big profits when stocks experience big moves. So the reason why we like buying options, buying call options for bullish scenarios or buying put options for bearish scenarios is because your risk is always limited. And so we can buy a $100 option, for example, a call option, and let's say we're dead wrong, the stock totally collapses, we're not gonna lose more than that $100 in the downside. So our risk is capped when we're buying options, but if it goes in our direction, we could make a lot more than $100 that we're risking. So we can make $200, 300, 500, et cetera, or even a thousand, we can make a lot of money on the upside, but our downside is capped to the price of the option. So buying call and puts is the perfect way to cash in when stocks are likely to make a big move. So we named this new strategy, the traffic pattern option strategy. And I'll take questions here at the end if you guys don't mind, just to make sure we get through this. Uh, so the three green lights is like a traffic pattern, almost looks like it. So we call this the traffic pattern strategy. And that's the green lights are bullish. So trading system flashes green or red to signal when a stock should go up or down. So very, very simple strategy. And instead of just one strategy or one condition, we're not tracking three. And so I'll tell you the story behind that here in a second. The traffic pattern not only forecasts direction, but it also predicts when big moves are likely to happen in the stock. And that's what makes this really unique. Most of the chart patterns we tend to follow, they're directional. So if we find like a head and shoulders pattern, that's forecasting the stock, it's gonna go down. 
or if we find a you know a, a rising triangle that's going to forecast a continuation up pattern but it's not necessarily going to forecast a really big move it's just going to forecast a direction so most technical patterns candlesticks everything else are telling us a likely direction but they're not necessarily forecasting a really big move in that direction so big price moves are what make options really jump in value or explode in value now the backdrop to all this is a really funny story i'll share with you that's called the power of multiple price patterns what i learned from a genius convicted felon so you can't make this stuff up but this is a true story i learned from a friend of mine who is actually a friend of my father so this predates me but in college i made i become friends with a um, a man who was my father's friend from rotary club and uh, he loved trading as much as i did so he was sharing the story with me early on in my career but back in the early 80s uh, when this man was a broker um, he basically uh, was um somebody, can you guys see that yeah okay he was basically uh interested in finding different trading strategies so a good friend this good friend of mine uh, who is a friend of my father's responded to an intriguing ad about a highly secret trading strategy remember this is pre-internet so where you ended up finding that these uh, information about trading or learning all oftentimes came from trading magazines so in the back of these magazines would be advertisements and that's where you found this so there's, there was this advertisement for this highly secret trading strategy now here's the really crazy part Intrigued by the ad, my friend convinced his top client to spend $25,000 on this secret trading strategy. And keep in mind, they had not met the creator of this. They just talked on the phone with this guy and they sent him $25,000. Now, $25,000 in 1980 was a lot of money. You could buy a nice BMW for that or a nice car or a nice Mercedes. So it, it, it's a lot of money today, but it was a lot, a lot of money back then. And so this was a little bit crazy that these guys were doing that, but they, they sent this guy the money and then they bought some plane tickets to fly to Dallas, Texas to meet the creator and pick up this or take delivery, if you will, of this special trading strategy. And here's where the story gets really weird and kind of entertaining. So they get off the plane, they run a car, they drive to the address that's given to them, and it's a normal middle class neighborhood. So that, that was a little bit of a red flag because $25,000 you'd expect to go into the nicest neighborhood in town because that's a lot of money. But it was just kind of a normal middle class neighborhood that they showed up at. So they get out of the car, walk up to the door, knock on the door, and this kind of unkept mad scientist guy answers the door. First thing he says is, uh, can you guys meet me in the garage? So instead of inviting them in the house, which you would expect that after spending $25,000, he would want to invite them in and really you know, take good care of them. He says, meet me in the garage. So they go around the house and you can, you can picture the garage door opening and this guy walks into the garage. The first thing he says to them is, I just got out of prison. So it's just crazy story, but anyways, what happened was is this guy was not a violent felon he was actually a uh, a brilliant man who was put in prison for helping the hunt brothers corner the silver market by creating these eavesdropping like listening devices so that's how he got in prison and what he decided to do in prison was research all the stock chart greats you know like fibonacci gan elliott so instead of just wasting his time in prison he would spend his time actually researching so he decided that to research the best trading strategy. And what he discovered during his slow days in prison was really remarkable. This highly intelligent man observed that certain chart patterns have predictive value. Now, we know that today probably more than they knew it back then, but what was really interesting was when he found multiple chart patterns or combining multiple chart patterns often produce superior results. So in that particular case, um, this would not only forecast direction, but oftentimes find uh, markets that would explode in that direction. So in this particular case, um, this would increase the accuracy a little bit, but also potentially find these really explosive moves. And today, the traffic pattern follows these same principles that this man uncovered. Uh, and with our strategy, we're leveraging multiple conditions that signal when a stock is likely to take off or drop like a rock. So we're not only interested in forecasting direction, but we want to try to find some explosive direction. So when the three bullish traffic conditions lined up for Ford, as an example, the stock ended up taking off. So here's an example of F, you know, buying F.
Hey, Mark, we don't we don't hear you right now, buddy. Are you talking? We got no sound. Can y'all hear me okay? Percent. So 250 grows to 1470 or 1000 turns into 5880. Uh, I will, by the way. Like uh, I'm sorry. Well, your, your sound was out for a minute. Like we, we had nothing for about 30 seconds. Um, oh, sorry about that, guys. Uh, how is it? Now I've got you. Every, can everybody hear him and me? Put yes in the chat box if you can hear me and Mark. Talk for a minute, Mark. Okay. Yeah. Sorry, guys. Uh, we that, that sure thing cool. right for getting the most expensive internet package, right? So, uh, no worries. Keep yeah, going. Apologies for that. Keep going. Yeah. So, okay. So, so anyways, this is just more on the same. So just talking about different signals here where we had the three green lights or the three red lights and the SPY was one where we, uh, we recommended the puts with the three red lights. And so 250 grows to 1470 or a thousand dollars turns into 5,880 or when the three bearish traffic conditions lined up for three M the stock ended up plunging. So this is a, a, th a three red lights here. And then we recommended buying for 3M, the 237.5 puts. Those jumped in value by 532%. So $250 would have grown to 1580 or $1,000 would have turned into 6,320. Now, uh, what are the three patterns? I think that's the next question and all of us are wondering. And let me, let me tell you exactly what they are. So there's no mystery here. These are the three patterns that we're watching. So the three patterns that we observed before many of our big winning trades work together to make up the traffic pattern strategy. So condition number one is what we call surging momentum. Now we're looking for stocks that have a significant upside increase in momentum. And, and so this is, or downside for the bearish scenario, uh, surging momentum must be present in a stock as the first condition for the traffic pattern strategy. Our breakthrough came when we discovered what we'll call predictive momentum patterns. We discovered through empirical research that initial momentum surges were very difficult to predict. So we can only predict them approximately 15 to 20 percent of the time. Therefore, we don't try to predict what we'll call initial momentum surges. Then we discovered that continuation momentum surges were much more predictable. So we could have an accuracy of approximately 70% or more with what we'll call prediction or, or uh, continuation momentum. So therefore, the traffic pattern ignores initial momentum and only focuses on continuation momentum. So let me show you what this looks like in a chart. You can see here, we have this uh, chart up top. This is the chart of the stock. And then we have the momentum indicator down here at the bottom. Okay. so. When we see the momentum indicator have the initial surge, and you can see this uh, blue arrow here, that's the part of it with the initial surge. We don't try to predict that. It's too hard to predict. It's the second green arrow here, the follow-on or continuation surge after the initial surge. That's what we're watching for. And if you look closely, you can almost see a little bit of a cyclical action here with momentum, you know, but that's what we're looking for is a second like upswing or surge and when we get that, that turns on our top green light or, or, or triggers that condition number one. Now, condition number two is what we'll call cycle swing. Then we look for a well-defined cycle swing in the direction of surging momentum. And we found that uh, surging momentum often supercharges the cycle swing. So when they both happen together, the cycle swings uh, define the price action or the trade period that we're looking to be in and out, if you will, the trades in this particular pattern. So the cycle swings must be present um, as the second condition for the traffic pattern strategy. So here's the chart. Here's what this looks like. Now, now we have a cycle indicator down here at the bottom and you can see the up cycles and down cycles. So what we're looking for when we see the continuation momentum, you can see the green arrows here. This is the period that we want to be in. It's almost like Here's the start, let me clear my pen here, but here's the start of it, and then here's the end. We'd like to be in our trade during the upswing. That's defining the life expectancy of our trade. We don't wanna be in too early with the previous downswing. We don't wanna overstay our welcome with the downswing after the trade. It's just that, up, that upswing during the bullish continuation momentum that we wanna participate in. And then when we get the upswing, this lights up our middle green light. So that's our condition number two. And then condition number three is simply what we call peaks and troughs trigger. 
So the third condition is really more of a trigger that enables us to get into swings as they start. The trigger is designed to detect the beginning of a swing at the cycle low or cycle high. So here's what the trigger looks like. This is a yet another trigger indicator down here. We actually have several we've developed since then, but you can see here right at the cycle low before the move starts, before the, the up cycle starts, this is telling us that there's a, there's a pretty good chance that the cycle low is in place and that the upswing is about to start. So when this triggers, this gives us, this conditions met, this gives us the last green light for the traffic pattern strategy. So let me show you what they all look like on a chart. So when all three conditions line up, then we get what we call the traffic pattern uh, trading signal. So here's what they all look like when you put them on the same chart. Uh, this you can see here, we have uh, initial momentum here on the top momentum indicator. Then we get continuation momentum in the upside direction that turns on the top red light, or green light, excuse me. And then we get the uh, second condition, the up cycle here, that turns on the middle green light. And then we have the bottom troughs trigger where the blue arrow is up here. And that turns on the bottom green light. So when we get all three of these things lining up, that's when we recommend buying an option. We're buying a call option here. Uh, when all three bullish conditions line up, we look to buy call options. Now, this pattern also can be in the downside. So not only can it be bullish with green lights, it can be bearish with red lights. So bearish traffic patterns forecast when a stock is likely to drop like a rock. So for bearish traffic patterns, we first look for negative surging momentum. So remember I told you, we don't try to predict the initial momentum. You see a big initial momentum downside move here in the first part of my chart. I'm gonna X that out because that's too hard to predict. Now in the second part of my chart, you see the first leg down of momentum, first surge down, and then you see the continuation surge. So I'll circle that on my chart. That's the portion of the momentum that we're looking to to track because we found that that's a lot more predictable. And so this lights up the first red light because now this is in the downside direction. So that's condition one number one, which is now bearish. Second, we're looking for a negative cycle swing. You can see here, uh, this is a cycle indicator at the bottom. When we see the downswing happening there, that's the life cycle that we're trying to trade. That lights up the middle red light. And then lastly, we look for a top trigger and this is the peaks and troughs trigger. So in this case, we're looking for a cycle peak. When that triggers, this gives us our last red light. So now we have three red lights all triggering in the same direction. So when all three of these triggers line up, we get a bearish traffic pattern. So you can now see top trigger, continuation momentum. We get that, that condition met. We light up the first red light. Down cycle now, we red, light up the second red light. And then lastly, the tops trigger, we light up the third red light. So when all three of these trigger at the same time, that's when we're recommending buying a put option. So with bearish traffic patterns, we look to buy put options. We're always either buying calls or buying puts, which means that our risk is always limited to the price that we pay for the option. So when traffic pattern signals occur, they seek to forecast not only a direction, but a potential big move in the stock. For example, when Capital One Financial had all three bullish conditions, a bullish traffic signal was generated, and we recommended our, our traders to buy the COF 87.5 calls. So you can see here, this is a textbook traffic signal. Beautiful initial momentum, beautiful continuation momentum. That lights up the first green light. And then we have the second one here. This is the upswing. That's the second green light. Lastly, we have the troughs trigger the third green light, we recommended our traders buy this Capital One Financial 87.5 calls. Those jumped in value by 480%. So $100 worth of these options, these calls would have grown to $580 or $1,000 of these calls would have turned into 5,800. When IBM had all three bullish conditions, a bullish traffic signal was confirmed and IBM options increased in value. So in this particular case, uh, this is another example. Now, this is an example where you get a little bit of a fizzle out. So we had a really big initial momentum, but the follow on momentum just kind of fizzled, right? And we don't always know, it's not always gonna be this big out of the park home run trade uh, for the winners. It, it can be more of a, like a lackluster winner, even though obviously we're not gonna complain about 111%, but this is the three conditions and we recommend a buy the IBM 152.5 calls. Now here's the interesting part. This was a traffic pattern that you're seeing in my chart, but look at the next one. 
The next one, believe it or not, Trey, had a, we had another traffic pattern that happened right after the one that we broadcasted. Now, we missed this one. This was another one, but this likely would have been up like three or 400%. And that was the big trade that we actually missed. We caught the first one, but we missed the second one. And when Norfolk Southern had all three bullish conditions, we knew it was likely to take off. This is another great one that's textbook. The momentum condition was there. That's the top green light, the cycle very well defined, and the trough trigger all firing at the same time. We recommend buying the NSC 130 calls. Those jumped in value by 572%. Uh, so 250 grows to 1680 or $1,000 grows to 6720 now, traffic patterns, as we, we've talked about, can also go in the downside direction. And we're forecasting the stock to have a big down move when that happens. Like, when, for example, when Aetna had all three bearish conditions confirmed, we knew it was likely to sell up. So this is an example of three red lights. We have the downside momentum. We have the downside cycle and the peaks trigger all firing at the same time, giving us three red lights. We recommend buying the AET 175 puts. And those were up 202%. So $250 grows to $755 and $1,000 grows to $3,020. And when Top Tail Motors had all three bearish conditions, we were confident it was about to sell off hard. So this is one that kind of fizzled out to the downside. This one was still a winner, but we just see a little bit of the cycle fizzling out, a little bit of the momentum. Uh, and in, that, in this case, we recommend buying the Top Tail Motors 26.5 puts. And that was only up, they were only up 120%. So not all winners are going to be these really big, you know, out of the park home run trades. 250 grows to 550 in this trade or $1,000 turns into $2,200. Then Norfolk Southern had all three bearish conditions. Here's another example. So we forecasted that it would drop in value. So in this particular case, this is when the timing was off. So we see the three red uh, lights. But um, the NSC didn't really drop. It went up for a few days and then finally went down. So this is not as big of a winner because we lost some time value when the stock went against us. This can also happen as well uh, when we're tracking these, this, this pattern. So in this case, we're still positive, but not quite as positive as we would like. So the traffic pattern essentials, let's just talk about that. If big moves in stocks can make big money trading options, and if our risk is always limited to the price we paid for the option, then it's possible that traffic patterns may be the best way to swing trade. So this is, I think this is absolutely one of the best ways to swing trade trading options. But uh, this breakthrough strategy could be one of the best ways to trade options that I've ever seen. And I think a big part of it is because when you're buying options, you want to make sure you're buying with the swing in the market. If you're buying against the swing, that's where you get hammered on time value. And so this is one of my favorite ways to trade options because it's finding not only the swing, but like the supercharged swings that have the continuation momentum uh, uh, and the other you know, peaks and troughs trigger in agreement. And the best part of the traffic pattern is it's really, really simple to trade. But what really convinced us of the power of the strategy and the pattern was a series of real option trades. Ironically, the worst trade of this group, I'll show you, was not a traffic pattern signal but was actually part of another strategy. But the best trades, all these best real trades, were all traffic pattern signals. Now, before this happened, you know, it was, it was, this was a good pattern on my radar, but when this uh, series of trades happened, it really got our attention. So this is a list of the trades uh, from a, a fairly active week, and this is atypical. This is not normal, but this can happen. It's one of those extreme, you know, extremely good periods for traffic signals. So here are the results from a very good week, of real traffic pattern trades. So let me first talk about the, the, the losing trade here. This was an Oracle trade on a different strategy, believe it or not, that was a total loser. So this was a earnings report week and I bought the call options, the 52 five Oracle calls and Oracle had the biggest down week ever. So I risked a thousand dollars in each one of these trades and I lost a thousand dollars on that Oracle trade. So. Uh, the great that and that to me that's good news you may say well how's how's losing a thousand dollars good news the reason why it's good news is because i was so wrong on that trade i mean it, i was on the opposite side of a market stock that, that had the biggest down week in history think about that but i was limiting my risk because you cannot lose more than you risk on an option now let's get to the good news part of this the traffic trades my first traffic signal right here with uvxy this is a trade where I bought the 15 calls, that made $3,024 profits. 
on a thousand dollar risk. So my first winning trade not only paid for my losing trade with Oracle, but also put me in the plus column by an additional two thousand twenty four dollars. But look at the rest of these trades. Every single one of these trades was risking a thousand dollars. UPS, this was buying the 110 puts, made $3,852 in profits. UNH was buying the 225 puts, made 4,555. These were all traffic trades. AT&T buying the 37 puts, made $1,885. SPY, uh, this was buying the 273 puts, made uh, 4,592 profits. So all these traffic trades e easily overcame the losing trades I had during this period. You can see, now SDS was one of those uh, markets that I was right, and we only made 84 bucks, but should have made a lot more than that. So uh, this is, a, I won't trade SDS anymore. Totally right on the trade option, bid ask spread was, was horrendous, and, and just uh, got the bad deal on that one. So I don't trade, I don't uh, track or trade SDS anymore. I should have known better, honestly. Uh, P, uh, PG, Procter & Gamble made 3,000, NAV made 1,200, MasterCard made 2,960, Johnson & Johnson made 2,730, you get the idea. And there's even a lot more winners besides those. But these, this was a traffic pattern extravaganza week and it really caught our attention. Like for example, a mere $2,000 of risk on each one of these trades would have made $90,000 in about a week. So it's a pretty good week of trading, a pretty explosive you know, with traffic pattern trades. Again, not a normal week by any stretch, but it can happen over time. So we just got a, I just saw a bunch of traffic pattern signals and took advantage and it ended up being a very, very good week for traffic signals. So after this week of trading real money, uh, when I say we, I've got some, some guys who work for me at my trading desk and uh, we really began to understand myself and my guys who work with me, the power of the traffic pattern strategy. Now, notice that there was a 99% loser in the group. This was not a traffic signal trade, but this is one of our other trading strategy. Now, it's important to understand that there will be losing traffic trades. A lot of them, there's gonna be losing trades just like any strategy. No trading strategy in the world wins all the time. Okay, so I think we all know what a losing trade looks like and we have losing traffic signals as well. But the good news is, is that we cannot lose more than the cost of our options. So if I'm risking $100 per trade, I can't lose more than my $100, but I can make a lot more than that when trades go our direction. And I'll get the questions here in just a second, guys. So um, looking, it's okay to see 99 or 100% losers when you're finding really big winners like plus 196 or plus 434%. That's what our strategy is, limit the losers and go for the winning trades. So let's talk about how to get the traffic pattern signals. I went over all the details, full disclosure, you guys know exactly what the patterns are that, that you can follow. And if you're a do-it-yourselfer like me, I would encourage you to try to track it. You know, if you're one of those people who says, I want to dive in, I want to sit in front of my computer and work a couple hours a day on this, by all means, uh, you know, I would recommend trying it. So this is, uh, you could monitor a list of 150 optional stocks every day and track for the three traffic patterns. Um, and, and this will take time. And you've got to build up the, the scanner. You can do a couple of things to go through your list but you've got to dedicate the time and the effort daily to do this if you're interested in doing it yourself. And if you're like me, if you're a person who really enjoys, you know, uh, being in front of your computer screen and, and, and looking for this type of thing, you know everything, I'm giving you all the conditions. Now, if you're a person who says, okay, Mark, I'm not that type of person who wants to sit in front of my screen all day, I want you and your team to tell me when you guys find your traffic pattern uh, signals, then we're happy to do that as well. So this is how you can get access to that. So again, uh, my team will use our trading tools to find traffic patterns for you. Our professional trading desk team is monitoring 150 plus stocks every day, so you don't have to. We expect to find approximately five to 10 traffic pattern alerts each month sent right to your inbox in real time. So we're gonna tell you the exact symbol, the exact strike price, and exact expiration day for each option trade alert. This is an example down here at the bottom. There's no gray area whatsoever. It's simple enough for my eighth grade daughter to trade our alerts. Best of all, we're going to target traffic pattern trades like this one. So this is a textbook one. that we. This is a real trade alert that we broadcasted, but this is Capital One 87.5 calls. These jumped in value by 480%. So $100 grows to 580, or $1,000 turns into 5,800 on this trade. We also are gonna track bearish traffic patterns and email those to you as well. This is a real trade alert that we broadcasted 
And we recommended when the three lights were turned on, we recommended buying the SPY274 puts. Those jumped in value by 488%. So 250 grows to 1470 or $1,000 turns into 5,880. Now, that's not all. If you're interested in tracking our trade alerts, we want you to master the traffic pattern strategy. So you're gonna get my new report, the traffic pattern exposed. In the traffic pattern exposed, I'll walk you through the trading system soup to nuts. Everything you see here along with clear examples will be available for you to follow. So here's what I cover in the traffic pattern exposed. Condition number one, momentum, I go over that. Condition two, cycle swings. Condition number three, peaks and troughs triggers. Combining market conditions together, like the genius convicted uh, felon story I told you, and then the tra traffic pattern examples, call option examples, and put option examples, because I want you to learn this pattern and really understand it. Now, if you're new to trading options, no problem. I created a library of quick start videos to introduce you to the option basics to get you started. So here's some of the topics I cover. How to buy a call option up here at the top. How to buy a put option, how to request clearance. You know, there's level one, level two, level three. How to understand the options chain. Uh, what about the Greeks? Going over some of the basics of the Greeks, like Delta, like Gamma, uh, how to close out your trades. Uh, what software you can use to trade and track options. Uh, how the underlying charts relate to the options. And then uh, option calculator to help determine your position size. This is all designed to help us target these really explosive traffic trades. So this is what the option position size and calculator looks like. You can type in your account balance. This is an example of 25,000. You may have a balance of 1,000 or even 2,000, that's fine. So you just gotta figure out what you wanna risk per trade, and then you can type in our trade alerts and to see how many contracts you would buy. Now for a small account, some, some of the stocks, you're not gonna be able to buy the, the trade, like Amazon options, you know, cost thousands, so you're not gonna trade that in a, in a $1,000 or $2,000 account. But this is a nice tool that just allows you to, to type in and calculate uh, your risk. So the Traffic Pattern Ultimate Alert Service, uh, where you're tracking our alerts, we're scanning the markets for you, uh, we track and scan 150 of our favorite optionable stocks. We send alerts right to your email, and we're actually creating a text a message alert of that as, as well. Uh, you get the symbol, you get the strike price and expiration date, there's no gray area. You don't have to be wondering, well, when when do I select the expir expiration date? What strike price should I use? Because we tell you. So there's no gray area. There's absolutely no guessing. You get it all. You get the entry alerts. We also include a profit target as well. And then you get a trading stop. You're going to need these uh, levels to, to effectively trade the traffic strategy. So every trade has a stop, uh, the profit target, and the trailing stops are included as well. So that'll be usually introduced after the trade starts going in the positive or winning direction. And this is all managed by our hedge fund research team. If you have any questions at all, contact our customer support team. We're more than happy to help you. So here's the promo we're having today. Um, and this is a special program, our special uh, price level for today only. And this is normally we, we offer the service for $1,997. The traffic pattern exposed normally goes from 997. Intro to options on demand video library is normally 650. Option position size and calculator is normally 100. Now, all this together is normally 37.44. We've knocked it down to a special six month offer or subscription for 495. So this gives you, this gives you easy access at a much lower price level. What you want to do is you want to go to www.3xoptions.com forward slash go. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy this in here. Let's take some questions quickly here, and uh, we'll go from there. Now, one good question, uh, Graham, you're asking, what broker do you recommend? Um, you can use any broker, that's the beautiful thing. Um, a Thinkorswim, a TradeStation, you can use Schwab, you can use uh, Fidelity. This is the great thing about this, is you can use any options broker out there to use this alert service. Now, uh, I'm gonna show you here, uh, somebody's asking, can I see what trades are on right now? Let me show you where we're at and what our, what our performance is for really last, about the last seven or eight months. But first, let me just say that I've shown you 14 real traffic pattern trades in one week that each could have paid for the entire year. So each one of these trades made more than $1,500 and that would have paid for you know the whole year. Now we have the special price 500 or 495 six month uh, service today. So we use hedge fund scanners now and our advanced market analysis tools. 
We have one of the few alert services managed by a real professional hedge fund research team. It's almost like having your professional research team find the best trades for you. Here's our guarantee. If we can't show you 3,000% of winning traffic pattern trades, now these are just the winners, not the losing trades. Uh, losing trades are gonna subtract from this, but we say we, we're confident in the next six months that we can show you 3,000% upside of winning traffic signals. If we're not able to do this, then you get an, an additional six months for free. And that's expensive on our side because I still have to pay my team for managing the service every month. So we're, we're confident enough that we, we feel like we're gonna be able to achieve this for you, uh, targeting traffic signals like this one, DIA 235 calls. This is a real traffic alert. So again, here's the promo, just throwing this up there. You wanna go to www.3xoptions.com forward slash go. Give us a call, 859-963-3445. Let me quickly show you the page. Uh, this is the live signal page right now that we have. So when you sign up, traffic, live options, this uh, you, have, you have this page right here. Let me just quickly show you the resources at the bottom. So you can go down here, uh, you can get mobile alerts, uh, how to read traffic video. So I've got even more resources than I showed you. Uh, then you've got the traffic pattern exposed special report. You've got the how to trade options video library. And then you also have additional guides. So I'll give you an example of how to enter a conditional order with TradeStation or Thinkorswim. So every broker I've ever seen has that order type that allows you to easily trade this with your broker. So these are the live signals right here. Let me just jump to our track record. So people say, what are some recent examples? Um, we just got out of a Johnson & Johnson trade alert. Let me pull that back up, a trade refresh. Uh, so we just got out of that. So the Johnson & Johnson, this was a traffic signal where we recommended buying the 175 calls on August 20th uh, expiration. So that made 96%, 96.7. So if you would have bought $100 of these, you would have made you know about 96 bucks. Um, COF, uh, 162.5 calls, this just uh, kicked out. Uh, this made $232, uh, so if, you have, if you're just $1,000, you would have made $2,302. Uh, FedEx was a losing trade. We're gonna have losing trades over time. So this was buying the 275 puts, that lost 48%. So if you risked $100, you would have lost 48 bucks in that trade. Uh, Disney was another losing trade. Uh, we recommend the 175 puts, that lost 21%. So if you risked $100, you would have lost $21. Uh, MOS uh, has a winning trade up 128. Lowe's has a winning trade up 14%, et cetera. So not every winner is gonna be big winners. We've got a lot of winners that are, that are smaller winners. So, but make no mistake, we're targeting the really explosive big winners. Our total results to date are up 3,011%. That's adding up all the winning trades and losing trades. And that's using the formula of what we'll call the optimal exit. So, if the profit target makes you know uh, 110% and the hard stop exit makes 140%, we're going to use the hard stop exit, you know, the optimal exit in these uh, performance numbers. We've got to have a consistent way of doing that. And different traders may do different things. So you could be a person who wants to get out of the profit target, or you may want to hold on to a bigger potential winner with the uh, with the trading stop exit. So this is a you know this is a list of all our trades. You can have a string of losers. You can have a string of winners, but you get the idea. So this is all the trades we've taken, all the trades we've broadcasted so far since we started. Uh, lots of winning trades, lots of losing trades, but adding up all together, we just pushed through and broke the 3,000% uh, uh, um, plus column here, uh, I think it was last week. So we're pretty excited about that. These are live trades on right now. I don't recommend you really getting into any of these. I think all of them have take, uh, are, are, are taken off or uh, you'll get plenty of more new trades. All of you have signed up today you're gonna have plenty more opportunity to get into uh, new trades. So this is what's on right now uh, with, with some of already, have, you know, we've already had uh, a couple of them kick through the profit targets and we're kicking out of some of these as well that are the older ones, but this gives you a little bit of an example of, of what's out there. So we've had more than 10, uh, 10 alerts per month as well. All right, so let me hit, uh, okay, please repeat the website address. Yeah, so this is, let me copy this in here. It's go to www.3xoptions.com forward slash go. I uh, do get access to scanning software. Hey, William, no, that's on our site. So uh, our guys are, are, are tracking scanner. We make it super easy for you. We're just emailing you the alert. So you're gonna get emails and you get access to the board, the trade board, the alert board, where you can check anytime. It shows all the open trades and then you've got the, you know, the track record page as well. That shows all the past trades as well. So you get access to all that. Uh, Sylvia, okay, do you access traffic pattern system yourself? 
Um, so yeah, we, we, we do. So we have, we have all the software on our side. We're trying to make it super easy for you so you can literally trade with any broker you want. Uh, how much does a scanner cost? We don't sell a scanner for this. So this is something we have on our side. So we've got some of the most advanced scanners and we use our, our hedge fund tools for that. And part of the reason why we don't do that, guys, is because uh, most trading platforms cannot accommodate our, our scanners. Our scanners are really, really powerful. So they, they don't work on most, most uh, trading platforms. Like you couldn't use it at Schwab, you couldn't use it at, at Fidelity or E-Trade. Um, and, and a lot of, uh, you know, a lot of brokers don't even allow third party, uh, uh, you know, tools, if you will, to be uploaded to their site anyways. So does that make sense? Um, all right, so I think that covers it, guys, but you wanna go to www.3xoptions.com forward slash go uh, to take full advantage and um, give us a call at 859-963-3445. Uh, first 25 people, guys, we'll start shutting it down here. We don't wanna overwhelm our customer service. If you get a voicemail, just leave your phone number and we'll give you a call back. So just uh, be patient. Uh, we have a lot of people calling in and uh, we will get back with you. So. Appreciate your patience uh, with that, but go to the website to sign up. Again, it's www.3xoptions.com forward slash go. So I'll copy that in the chat for everybody here to see. One last time before I turn it back over to Jeanette. And uh, Jeanette, we're praying for you, hoping you're feeling better. And uh, as always, it's an absolute privilege to, to be here with you on Saturday.